Hello and welcome back to another video for Final Fantasy XIV with me, Mioni. I'm joined by Fran. Hello, Fran. Hi. And once again, we're continuing our look at all things Emeraldy, aren't we? Emeraldy. Yes. So this then is a, a look at the Emerald Barding, which is pretty cool. Um, before we look at it, it basically takes one emerald plating, which drops from Castrum Marinum, or emerald weapon, on extreme difficulty at a low drop chance. Um, you can also get those rarely if you disenchant the weapons from the fight. Uh, you know, dis desynthesis, sorry. Uh, also takes two brash gold plates, one deft hands solvent, and two dwarven cotton with a master armorer eight recipe, of course. Um, this is a four star recipe, so it's one of the top ones, rank eight. And uh, yes, you can make this fantastic looking barding. Let's have a look, shall we, friend? That's the wrong button. We did a backflip. <laughs> <laughs> I did a backflip. There we go. You know, it, it comes with three backflips. We chose to use explorer mode and come into Amnesis in India to have a look at it. What do you think of the barding, friend? Really nice. I think this I like, is actually like really, 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 really nice considering what they could have done. The one thing I have noticed, though, is that the mount from Emerald, so the Emerald Dragon, the Emerald Gweeba, does have a really long spiky snout because of how Emerald has the spikes behind. What I will say about this barding, though, is that there isn't really any spikes on it at the rear. What they've gone for instead is these sort of weird insect wings. Can you see that? Yeah, back. But what they have done is they've put all of those little reactor material slot type generator orby things of different colors in the leg plates as well, uh, as well as the chest plate, which is quite interesting. It's it's not a bad one. It's not a bad one. But uh, is it as good as the ruby one? That's the question. What would you say? I, I, I can't remember what the review one looks like if there is a review well, one. Well, it's it's red and metallic as opposed to this. Um, I'll show you in just a second. But here's for the little bits of detail. The helm is kind of cool. There's no way that a Joker bow can even remotely see through that helm. It's just not... <laughs> that's just not going to happen at all. I do like the silver sort of inlay that they've got rather than just having the atypical brass... It's nice to see some silver and things. The chest cavity, it looks a little bit pixelated in places when you look close um, on Max Graphics, which is quite interesting, like the, the cavity where the crystal's jammed in there. A lot lower resolution than perhaps they could have gone for. Um, the chest plate's pretty good. And the wings themselves have these sort of like tattered, almost like rubber edges to them, kind of like if, as if it was part of the weapon program. I just don't understand the insect wings on the back there. Not 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 sure about those. Um personally. And the the feet are pretty cool. They sort of have like little rocket booster light up bits on the back with Oh there is a couple of spikes. That's where they put the spikes then on the on the feet. Interesting. I mm. personally like this one. Uh mostly for its simplicity. It's probably one I would use. Uh frankly um let me show you just as a reminder what the ruby one looks like presumably we can swap things out in here we haven't tried it have we so the ruby stuff is obviously red if for people who don't remember um this is something we have to obviously compare it with there we go so like the ruby one now if you look at this <clears throat> I think the quality is a lot higher. Yeah, I would agree. So you notice how around the chest cavity you've got the big red, the, the big ruby, basically, and the cavity itself. There's no pixelation. The, the resolution of that texture is not stretched in the slightest. There's not a single bit of, like, pixelation when you even get close to the helm, for example. Yeah, I don't know. I think they're fantastic weapon series barding but I do think that a ruby one is just going to be very hard to beat in regards to that but it's going to come down to personal preference you'll notice on the ruby one as well we have the spikes on the back much like in the ruby weapon fight 
mm-hmm. with those thruster things. So, yeah, it's interesting to me how they decided with Emerald to sort of ditch that idea aesthetically. Let's just show that off once more um, for the Emerald Barding. Now, bear in mind at the moment, I can't even find Emerald Barding available on the market board to buy. It's just too expensive to craft. But um, I managed to scrape together stuff. I do think it's nice in its own way. I just don't think it's quite as extravagant as the other weapon um, themed one we have on offer. But Emerald is, is you know, one thing I would have done with this bird differently, friend, I think, would be, you know where the wings are? Yeah. I would make those jut out and have the Emerald weapon little the orbs on them. Because Emerald has these big shoulders, basically, doesn't it? Yeah. That's the whole draw to it. It just seems weird how they didn't do that with this, and instead they've put the orbs on the legs. Hmm. Any final thoughts? Would you... Any ideas? Do you like I mean, this one? It is nice. I'm not going to say it's horrible, because it's not... I've been worse mm. but i i agree with the with the bug wings i i don't get it yeah doesn't make a, a terrible amount of sense to me personally <clears throat> but yeah i don't know maybe you guys in the comment section will like this one a lot and maybe think i'm being a bit too harsh but i think it's a beautiful color and the shape's or nice even you know how the Lakshmi barding has that back bit to it? It'd be cool if they had the arms, but the hands around, just floating around in a circle behind, like, a, you know, like the, the, how the statue was. The Lakshmi one, let's see. No, but remember. it had the, it had, it had that bit on the back, didn't it? I think it was that one. This is Blissful Barding. Uh, Blissful Barding. That in front of you. Not that one then. I can't remember what it was. Was it Sophia? No. Innocence, maybe? Because Innocence no. already has, like, even Innocence has more imposing winglets than the Emerald one. You'd but, think you'd you know have I mean? something like this, yeah. How, how the statue was, it'd be nice if they had, like, a ring of the hands around. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Where are the hands? Where, where are the disembodied hands? That would have yeah, been really so if, cool, just have them if, float there. Yeah, behind, like in a, like in a semi, not a semicircle, but you know what I mean. How the statue is. Yeah, I, I do. I do know what you mean. Especially, uh, like, and nothing should be out of out of order in terms of um, design as well. When you have stuff like the Shinryu Cheslo, or you know, some of this stuff is really crazy and far out there. You know, you can have stuff like the the tidal one for for Leviathan, like the chess piece there easily have arms like that i see your point yeah it's really weird why they didn't include the arms very weird yeah i mean it's a nice enough barding but is it really what we wanted from something that's carrying the emerald name and a price tag way in equivalent of five million gil currently if you can get a hold of this probably not but there we go yeah well let us know what you think in the comment section personally I don't think it's a bad one, but it's not what I would have personally done with the design. Do you agree with that, friend? I agree. Mm. Anyway, let us know. Thank you kindly for watching another one of our wonderful videos today. Hopefully you're enjoying this content as much as we are making it. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, you did the bow. I'll do the bow too. There you go. <laughs> <laughs>